Hello and welcome to www.collectinglouisvuitton.com Please don't forget to come to my free reference library website Heaps of information about collecting Louis Vuitton and heaps of other product reviews Today we're authenticating a Louis Vuitton Keeple and uh, this has come from a, a buyer who's recently just purchased this item from eBay and they've asked me to confirm whether the item itself is real or whether it is fake and uh, having a look at this bag here um, it's a it's a keeple and um, it seems the the seems to be reasonably good value um, the user sent me a link to the auction I think it was four hundred and something dollars that this bag sold for and they've asked me my opinion on it and um, I'm the bag looks all right but I do have a couple of major concerns with it. The Keeple item itself there is a bag which has been subject to being a Japanese super fake and uh, this bag here is no different. A few things that alarm me about this bag is the fact that the the actual um, leatherware itself there it looks like it's been artificially aged it's got a very nice honeycomb color to it but if you look at the stitches that are actually on the bag itself there they don't seem to have much wear so although the heart the leathers has aged the stitches themselves on the the leather wear don't seem that old so that's a concern it looks like they've um, the, the handles have been artificially aged and they've they've used a, a lower grade leather than what Louis Vuitton would use um, another thing that concerns me greatly having a look at this bag here if you look at the the actual the stamping itself there you'll notice that it's a made in France <coughs> and it's got the small f now what the small f means is that this bag itself was manufactured this is if it's a genuine piece it should have been manufactured in the the early 80s so that that concerns me a lot I noticed with this bag here it's also got the the um, the leather straps now I, out of all the time I've dealt in Louis Vuitton I've very rarely gotten those straps on second-hand pieces so that's that's a bit of an alarm bell there the font does not seem correct okay these are these are some things which are are ringing some alarm bells there in my opinion looking at the monogram canvas it seems like it's in too good a condition to be 30 years old the leather's been aged but the 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 actual canvas itself doesn't look 30 years old just like the interior doesn't look 30 years old so in my opinion here with this bag because it's coming from a Japanese seller I would tread very very cautiously in fact I'd go far as to say I'm 99 percent sure this is a Japanese super fake and I would stay away from it and um, I would not be buying my own opinion my, is at the moment I would not be buying monogram keeples from Japanese sellers on eBay that is really asking for trouble because that is probably the, the most faked item that the uh, the Japanese mafia seems to be flogging and that that's the 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 monogram keeple and the monogram speedy um, this bag here is no different to to other super fakes I've seen if you look closely at the brass wear you'll see the font on the brass doesn't seem to be a hundred percent correct and it's also got a bit of a greeny tinge that's most probably from some chemicals that have been used to age the brass wear so I'm gonna give this a fail I don't think it's real I'd um, I certainly wouldn't be buying anything like this from Japan or from anyone at the moment I, I think it's too risky and uh, four hundred dollars may be a bargain for a keeple but for a fake it's certainly a lot of money so I'd, I'd certainly my own opinion stay away from this piece it is trouble 
Thanks very much for watching my video and don't forget to come to my free reference library website www.collectinglouisvuitton.com. Thank you.